Clarity Pharmaceuticals is leading the development of next-generation therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals that utilize the radionuclide COPPER-67 to improve treatment outcomes for children and adults with cancer. Therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals typically consist of a targeting agent that seeks out and binds to cancer cells and a linker that connects the targeting agent to a cage or chelator which holds a radioactive payload. This payload is a powerful radionuclide that emits cancer-killing radiation. A radionuclide commonly used in today's therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals is lutetium-177. However, its production process is complicated, relying on rare earth elements, an aging fleet of specialized nuclear reactors, and requires complex international supply chains to bring final products to patients. These factors limit its reliability and future scalability to meet patient demands. The production of lutetium-177 starts with the mining of the rare earth element, ytterbium. Due to the low abundance of ytterbium ore in the ground, its mining is very expensive, has a negative impact on the environment, and carries its own set of geopolitical considerations. Once ytterbium ore has been mined, it is purified to remove other metals and then isotopically enriched to ytterbium-176. This process is resource intensive and mainly carried out in Russia. The purified ytterbium-176 must then be irradiated in a specialized nuclear reactor that is capable of transforming ytterbium-176 into lutetium-177. There are very few of these specialized nuclear reactors in the world, and many of them are coming towards the end of their intended life cycle, leading to frequent unplanned and prolonged maintenance shutdowns. The nuclear reactors used to produce lutetium-177 are powered by uranium fuel, which leads to the production of high-level radioactive waste that take over a million years to decay and must be safely disposed of in long-term radioactive waste storage facilities. While lutetium-177 plays an important role in today's radiopharmaceutical landscape, other radionuclides may be better suited to meet the growing demand for therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals. Clarity Pharmaceuticals is pioneering the use of next-generation radiopharmaceuticals utilizing COPPER-67 to create a reliable, scalable and environmentally friendly long-term solution to the growing need for therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals around the world to treat children and adults with cancer. The lack of an effective cage for copper isotopes has previously limited the use of COPPER-67. Clarity's proprietary SAR technology utilizes a cage which is highly specific to copper isotopes and prevents leakage of the isotope from the radiopharmaceutical once administered to patients. Copper-67 is an ideal therapeutic radionuclide for radiopharmaceuticals. It is produced from the transition metal zinc, which is 20 times more abundantly available in the ground than ytterbium and significantly more environmentally friendly and economical to mine, making it easier to source from existing mining operations. Copper 67 is produced in large quantities using electron accelerators, which are relatively small machines that run entirely on electricity instead of uranium. Throughout the manufacturing process, minimal long-lasting radioactive waste is produced and any unused zinc can be recycled and reused in future copper-67 manufacturing, making the production process much more environmentally friendly. The use of electron accelerators to produce copper-67 enables the domestic production of copper-67 entirely in the United States, eliminating the reliance on aging nuclear reactors and complex international supply chains. This process is currently being used in the United States for Clarity's ongoing clinical programs and is easily scalable to other geographies around the world. With the projected growth of therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals, Clarity is creating a reliable, scalable and environmentally friendly supply of radiopharmaceuticals to ensure that all patients have access to these life-changing cancer treatments.